everyone and welcome back to my channel Coding with Estefania. In this video, we're gonna practice your coding and problem solving skills with the find the longest word challenge using JavaScript. You can find this challenge on Free Code Camp's curriculum. Please note that there are many different ways to solve the same problem. So this is just one alternative and you're welcome to share yours in the comments. So let's begin. First of all, let's see the challenge itself. Find the longest word in a string. Your goal is to write code that will return the length of the longest word in the provided sentence. Specifically, we have to define a function that returns this value. And our output, our response should be a number. Of course, it should be a number because we are going to return the length of a string. And that is always an integer, either zero or a number greater than zero. Great, so let's go to our code in Visual Studio Code. So let's start defining our function. Find longest word length. It's important to add the length word here because we're going to find the length of the word. We're going to return a number, not the word itself. And that can be an important detail for this challenge. So it's best to keep that in mind. The first thing that we need to do is to add our parameter. What are we going to take as input? We're going to take a string as the input. So we're going to name our parameter str. Then we're going to use two spaces for indentation. Let's change this to two spaces per level of indentation for JavaScript. And now the first step that we have to take to find the longest word in a string is actually finding all the words in the string. Because remember that strings can be made of multiple words if they are separated by spaces. And that is exactly what we are going to have for this challenge. We may have very long sentences with multiple words and we're going to have to split that string into the different words into an array. So we can do that with the split method. Here we have the split method and now it's for split, instead of just adding an empty string or having empty parentheses here, we are going to pass a space as the argument because we want to split the string at the spaces. We're going to get an array with all the words. Let me show you how this is going to work, what this line of code actually does. We are going to use one of the test cases that we have here from FreeCodeCamp's website. We are calling the function find longest word length, and here we are passing in a string. May the force be with you. You can see that the string has multiple words over here. And the first step that we will need to take is to get each one of these words to get the length of each one of the words. So that is what we're doing here with split. Let's use console.log to see words. If we run the program with node.js, here we see the output. May the force be with you. We have each one of the words in an array, but each one of them is a different element of the array. Great. So we have that ready right now. The second step that we should take is to define a variable to store the length of the longest word like this longest word length or longest length or any other variable name that you would like to use here in your code that you think is descriptive. That variable will keep the current maximum length that we found so far. So what we're going to do basically in our code is that we're going to have something like a loop where we're going to check each one of the strings in order. Remember that we're creating an array. First, we're going to check the first element in the array, the first word, the second word, and then so on. We're going to continue the process like that, and we're going to store the length of the longest word that we have found so far. When we start, that would be the length of the first word. Then, for the second word, we need to determine if the second word is longer than the first one. If it is, then we will update the longest length and so on as we find the different strings in the array. How are we going to create this repetitive process? Well, in this particular solution, and not, I'm not saying that this is the only alternative, but for this, I chose to use the for each method. The for each method is a method that will let us pass an arrow function as an argument. 
and we will be able to do something for each word in the array. Let me show you this. If you're new to arrow functions, that's totally okay, and they are really awesome tools in JavaScript. Let me show you. An arrow function is basically something like this. It's similar to a function where you take a value, an input, a parameter or argument, and then you map or you associate that argument to a particular code. So here we have the arrow function that we are passing as an argument. This would be the input and this would be the code associated to that function. And this is what we refer to as the arrow in the arrow function. It's just an equal sign and the closing angle bracket. So after we have our arrow function, we will do something for each word. This is just a name that we assign to each one of the elements in this array that we're iterating over. It's just like creating a functionality that is very similar to a for loop here. We're going to take each word and we're going to do something with that word. Since the code will be a bit more elaborate, it's going to have multiple lines, we're going to divide the curly brackets into multiple lines. And here we will have a conditional. What are we going to check for each word? If the length of the current word that we are evaluating or checking in the iterative process is greater than the longest length that we have found so far, the longest word that we have found so far, here we are checking the numbers themselves. Remember, we're not checking the strings. That's something very important to keep in mind on this line. We are comparing the actual values, the integers. If the length of the current word is greater than, is strictly greater than, the length of the longest word that we have found so far, then that means that we found a longer word. And we just need to update this value, word.length. And after we complete this process for each one of the words, then we just need to return the longest word length, because that will be the length of the longest word that we have in the string. Yes, it's that easy. With just these lines of code, we are creating that powerful process. So basically here for this test case, what we're going to do is that we're going to split the string into an array. Then we are going to start with the length of zero just to assign an initial value for this. Then for each one of the words in the array, for each one of the words in the string here, we are going to check if the length of the current word is greater than the length of the longest word that we have found so far. So here that would be three, the longest length that we found so far, right? Then we have three. Since the two strings, the two words have the same length, then we would not update the value here because notice that this operator is strict. We're only going to update the value if the new word is longer, strictly longer than the previous one, the previous longest word. Then after we complete that first iteration, we go again to the next word and then we go to force. Force is longer than may. So we will be updating that to its length, which is five, five characters. And then we would do that for all the words, but neither one of them is longer than force. So by the end, we will have the value five over here as the output, the length of the longest word. Let's check this by running our code. And we see five here as the output. That is great. The code is working like we expected. Now, let me just get a few test cases here. These are test cases provided by FreeCodeCamp on their website to test the function. If we run our code, again, we will see the following output, 6, 5, 6, 8, and 19. And that matches the expected output from these test cases, 6, 5, 6, 8, and 19. Awesome, right? I hope you like this coding challenge. I really appreciate your likes and subscribe. Have a wonderful day and happy coding.